Hello sewing people of the internet. This video is an addendum to my video using the Singer heavy duty machine to make a running water bottle carrier. Uh, in that video, I kind of haphazardly mentioned that I thought that my Kenmore 1752 would be comparable to the Singer heavy duty in this task. And uh, I had a reason to make another one of these carriers, so I thought, well, let me actually try it and see if that's true. And uh, what I found, and what you'll see in this video, is the Kenmore performed perfectly capably. It did a fine job, but it was definitely not as good as the Singer in this particular circumstance. The speed control of the Singer was, was definitely better. It was easier for me to control it at slow speeds. And, you know, just in general, the feeding was a little bit better. I had some difficulties getting the foot pressure on the Kenmore adjusted uh, so that it would feed correctly. I didn't have to even touch the adjustment on the Singer when I made this project with that machine. So. I'm just gonna let this video play and I'll add any comments that I think are necessary, but the upshot of this is that in a direct comparison between this machine and the Singer Heavy Duty uh, on identical project, once again, I have to admit, I think the Singer did a better job. Now, I know that the Kenmore machines have some pretty ardent fans. I've become quite fond of this particular machine I think it's a better machine all around and I'm also aware that there are some models of Kenmore machines that are geared down that have better slow speed uh, control and penetrating power um, just comparing this machine this particular one to the Singer Heavy Duty but uh, I continue to be surprised and impressed by the Singer Heavy Duty I, I think if I were gonna make a whole bunch of these and had to pick one machine to make these on it would probably be the singer heavy duty for most of it and in the interest of full disclosure uh, just as i did with the singer heavy duty when i made this pack i used my yamada to bind it with and i think i used my sail right for uh, sewing down the webbing because the singer heavy duty struggled with that and i i don't think i even tried it on the kenmore By the way, if you're wondering why there's a dragon on the bed of my Kenmore machine, uh, you can check out my review of the machine and maybe you'll get it. This is one example of a time when I kept messing with the foot pressure trying to get the machine to feed the materials and, and stitch evenly. I was getting uneven stitch length and uh, just wasn't feeding very well. It was doing okay, like, I mean, functionally it worked, uh, and this stitch isn't gonna be seen, so it doesn't necessarily matter that much that it wasn't perfect, but I didn't have this problem with the Singer Heavy Duty. Anyway, I just thought seeing this footage of the Kenmore machine doing the same task that I did on the Singer in the most recent video might be helpful uh, rather than me just telling you that I think the Singer did a better job. And uh, again, I'm not saying that the Kenmore didn't perform adequately or isn't a good machine. There's probably some sewing tasks that it would do better than the Singer Heavy Duty. Just in this particular task, the Singer Heavy Duty seem to outperform it. I hope you found that helpful or informative. If you have questions or comments, post them in the comments section below. 
feel free to click the like button if you like this and if you're not a subscriber i'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll see you in an upcoming video thanks